Let's do it. Cut. <gasps> oh no. All right, guys. So today's pretty easy. We're going to head up here. We're going to try to unlock some of this stuff. And we also need to head to the north side of the island. I think there might be an obsidian deposit. And I'd like to make some obsidian spears before we travel. Um, to the next section. Go ahead and try to grab as much stuff as I can. song of the punishment of the gifted when death had taken the last of the highest ones the great hunt ended but the families and the loved ones of the highest ones who were gifted longevity faced an even worse fate than death in battle the day after the end of the hunt all the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds one by one the gifted ones were brought to a cliff and fed the poison of a swamp frog which immobilized them and those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. Oh my lord. At the end of that day, there were no gifted left alive, and their bones rest at the bottom of the sea. The race of immortals was destroyed forever, and only mortals dying of disease remained on the island. I forgot about that. Wasn't it up here? Oh no. Dude. I like legit forgot about that. They were jealous. So they killed him. What is that? I think that was it for over here. Alright, let's get back. Maybe we'll have time to venture. You know, before we get back... I think there was something up here. Like a flexible branch or something. been up here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some blueprints out of that. A rope made of skin. Okay. And how heavy are these? Pretty dang heavy. We got four of them. Maybe we can get lucky and make a nicer bow. Oh my god. That dude came out of nowhere. Alright, now that we're back to... One of y'all told me that there is a way that we should be able to attach this dot to our house.
There's a couple things I want to do before, really before anything happens. Now let's see, what can we do with this? I can make a rope of skin. Didn't we do that though? We never made skin rope? All right, let's just, let's try something here. Let's see, I thought I've already made that. Skin dryer. This is a regular workbench. So now, but we need an improved workbench, rope, and a split log. Okay, we're going to make ourselves a new bow. It's going to be awesome. Oh, we're going to be perfect. I think it rained. Okay. Split log and rope. I don't think we... We don't. Maybe there'll be like a rope tree up here. Oh, jeez. Look, dude, in the middle. Oh, there's the thing. The arch, the thing. See, these little dudes are everywhere. We are on the north side of the island, right? Special object. Okay. I don't remember how to get up there. Oh, there's one of those dogs. <gasps> we got all distracted. We're getting attacked in a tree. Oh god, because there's a...
shouldn't have attacked me like that. Oh my god, dude. I don't like heights and it's messing with me. Alright, let's map. Midday. It says there's an item over here. Puma potion. Now it said there was an interesting object somewhere nearby. Oh, guys, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> it's the simple things. What is that? Book of the Hunt. Written by one of the best hunters in the 14th century, describes the habits of various types of game hunting for this game, hunting methods, and different weapons used. We don't have time to read. Alright, we got a jackal. We gotta get over here. And we gotta get over here. But somewhere, there's an obsidian deposit. I wonder if we can back up. What is this? Song of the Wrath of the Mortals. It was not long before mortals realized who poisoned the wells. Song of the Wrath of the Mortals. It was not long before mortals realized who poisoned the wells, and hatred for the immortals blazed up more than ever, and awoke a terrible rage, which was destined which was destined to burn the immortals to ashes. Horrible was their hatred as they were Horrible was their hatred as they were poisoned. Horrible was their hatred as they were poisoned in the void of healing. Weak were their bodies, but their spirit craved for death of their enemies, more than their own living. Casting away everything else, all mortals went on the great hunt for immortals, and there was no island befallen, no stone unturned, no cave unsought, and all immortals were found, and most of them slain in bloody battles, for there was no limit to the rage of the poisoned who fought, who found their poisoners. And the last of the best people fell in the year of High Sun, defeated by the rage of sick and dying mortals. Holy crap. Oof. How many of that do we have? Oof. We're almost there. You definitely said go on the north side of the island. What is that? What is this? Oh, we found a mine. I think. <laughs> we found it. How much is this stuff? Wait. It's two pounds. We got all of it. It's getting late. We're going to have to get back.
And then we still gotta go and figure out what this other thing was. Right here. Luma potion and an interesting sight. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, there he is. done figured your ass out all right let's put some of this stuff up all right we just got one hour left let's read it tonight our athletics will go up We need rope. There it is. What time is it? We may have time to uh, go to that spot. I can't talk. Just go straight up. What is that? <gasps> it's more. There's a big stone. At least we know that's there. Now what am I doing? We are way off course. Let's go, a hole. Got this shit figured out. What is this? <gasps> what is Puma Potion? Strength of the Puma. Unlimited stamina. What is this? Long handle. Ah. We like found a bunch of canoes. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right, now we got to make a bow. And possibly, we'll, we'll figure that one out in a second. Um, what do we need? Two dried highs and tendon thread. Okay. What don't I have? Oh. 
Okay, well, we can make a decorative rug with it. So we gotta go kill more pigs. More pigs. Oh, we need a split log. got two out of that all right we'll do that in the morning we'll upgrade this we'll build our bow we'll build a couple spirits obsidian spirits yeah oh god look at our rug go ahead and sleep injuries all the way back up let's do Do some morning reading. Let's upgrade this. Oh, ho, ho. Take so much. Forty damage per shot. Oh, dude, look at this! It looks like we're professional. Okay. Now let's see what we can do here. We need a city and knife. All right, now it's knife time. All right, let's go back in here. There we go. We have plenty of energy. So let's try to do a little bit more reading. Fantastic. Let's do... Our red for two hours. This is all prep, guys. Now, I don't know. I can make a knife now, and I can make a spear. <gasps> we got another survival point. And I think if I do learning, Okay. Let's put all that up. What do we need to do before we go to another island? It's midday. So let's... Chance of ammo taking... Okay, yes. Put you up pick you up it'll take six hours to read dude screw it leaf bait recipe dude that's awesome okay it's still somewhat daytime this is what tomorrow we're gonna do we need to go get those pigs we need to get their skin oh there he is Oh my god. Okay. We'll come back for the rest of it. I took that thing's hide and we already had some. Let's put it here. all over our house
Oh, we already have a peccary head. I didn't realize that. There we go. We're killing everything. We've already read all of our books. So tomorrow we can just make a couple spears, a couple arrows, and I think we can get on our way. For the most part. How much longer does this have? 11 hours. I'm gonna fix our knife here. All right, so I have one more thing I wanna do before we head out to that small rock island where the smoke was at. I wanna take this out to where it looks like a shipwreck, but I also wanna see if I can't put that pier, put the dock to this. Let's go. Where'd that chicken come from? <laughs> what? Okay. So one of y'all told me to use the Pierce Foundation and we should be able to make that work to attach all of this to our house. So, But like I think I know what to do, but I probably messed it up already. Um, let's see. Maybe not. Not that way. Okay. Oh, shnikes. Like, I really think I could probably build a base <laughs> off of, uh, off this dock, which I guess we could do that in episode. If y'all want to see that, just let me know. We can just, uh, just move our base over a little bit, which I think would be kind of cool. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Right now, we need to go. We just need to go. Let's trust this thing out. This thing moves so fast. And I'm pretty sure that's a little bed. That's awesome. Now there was something out here. It looked like a shipwreck. But I don't remember how far out. I'm not gonna lie, this makes me want to build a bigger boat. I kind of feel exposed. Location unlocked. a huge mistake oh no okay <laughs> we can take the helm directly from the ship I don't know if I can actually spear anything with this I don't really think I can be hunted by a shark oh no <gasps> there's a treasure chest
it's an ammo chest. You can't pick up this. What did that say? A winch. Oh, that was freaky. It said I needed something. It said I needed a winch. We got to build an arc ship, apparently. So what we'll do is we'll head back. We'll sleep for the night. And then we're going to head to this other island. Maybe we can go ahead and upgrade our canoe. Haha, <laughs> we got a point. All right, what can we do with this? Upgrade rope and three leaves. What does that do? Increase durability and large container for storage base. And it unlocks a solid canoe. <laughs> no. Our axe broke. Dude, look at that! 200! And we can sleep. And we can also now build a new boat, right? What is that on it? Oh, that's what we need? We need that? That'll help us sleep better. It's okay for now. We'll be okay. But I want to go explore. But that's the next step. We gotta build the, uh, the solid canoe. So then we can sleep when it rains outside what time is it it's noon let's just go screw it i'm just kidding all right let's see what can we take with us i don't need to worry about any of that there's no clean water in there that sucks which means we should probably grab a coconut you know at some point we should probably definitely build a fishing pole and put that in there okay what time is it getting kind of late in the afternoon what do we need to build arrows obsidian arrows we have everything we need great we have nine let's go to sleep it's daytime let's go can't waste any more daylight we overslept Still got to make a fishing pole. Maybe we'll find one over here. That'd be nice. We're not gonna have like a massive great white breach the water, are we? <laughs> that would suck. I kind of forgot about this little island. I don't know if there's anything on it. Ooh. What is that? Portable beacon blueprint. Throw it on the ground to mark a spot amidst red smoke for a very long time. Okay. Don't know why we would need that, but I'll take it. Some crabs. A lot of food. Okay. Now I really just want to build the other boat. So I can have a shelter to sleep in. Then we kind of have like a mobile base. Well guys, I think I've said this in the last couple episodes. We are almost at that spot. Where... It's not going to sail away, is it? Alright. 
almost at that point where I have no clue what we're doing. Almost. Like, imagine if you could just see a giant shark. I am a little disappointed the only shark we've seen is that one by the boat. I mean, it's probably a good thing. And unfortunately, we can't take any of this stuff with us, right? Which kind of sucks, because it's like, why, why would you be able to put it on your shoulder if you can't take it? Medicine. Yes. My name is Blasco Ribeiro. I'm a cannoneer on the expedition led by Juan Ponce de Leon. In 1513 AD, our ship, a caravel, caravel, I don't know, named the Santa Maria, was shipwrecked and thrown onto the rocks located one day north. Me and our cook, Pedro, left to scout the surroundings and, if possible, find an island more suitable to live on. Survivors of the wrecked Santa Maria are continuously firing cannons as a signal, but I'm afraid that the only remaining cannon will not last for very long. Our lifeboat crashed against underwater reefs near this rock, and we had to swim here. When we reached the cave, Pedro slipped on wet rocks and broke his leg. We have run out of supplies and are starving. I will now leave Pedro in the cave down below and will go up. Maybe I can catch one of those birds circling around up there, or at least find their eggs. If Pedro and I do not make it and die here, please pray for us and take care of our bodies. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's poor Pedro. Ooh, pineapple. Yes. That's like my favorite fruit. Forgot where to go. Oh my god. There's three of these things. <laughs> this poor guy needed a spear. Oh, man. This is the cannoneer from the crashed Santa Maria. Left without a boat on this rock, he was dying of hunger. Up on top, he found a nest and tried to grab some eggs, but the cannoneer underestimated the danger of these birds, the harpies. And the harpies pecked him to death. Maybe somebody else survived on Santa Maria. I should go to the crash site. That would suck so bad. Improved ship repair kit. I didn't even have to build the other one. I really, really, really want to jump off this. Let's do it. Cut. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. I thought I was dead. We were, like, running in the air, hoping we didn't... <laughs> we cleared the rocks. All right, we got to sail to the Buffalo region. And there's the Santa Maria. Let's go check it out.
maybe. I think there's a spot to pull up to it. Yeah, yeah. I should put some of this stuff in our boat too. Here we gotta pick everything up. You know, that's one thing you guys taught me. Pick everything up. Everything. Dude, you know how much it would suck to get your boat stuck in something like this? <gasps> Our boat sank, right? So this isn't our boat. Calendarium by Regia Montanus. I can't say that one. What did we just find? Sailing. Barrel. Okay, yep, yep. I remember. Sort of. Wood chips. I don't know what those are for. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Searching. All right, we got to find the key. Got a half log in that box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got to find an iron rod. There we go. Anything else over here? Okay. What time is it? No, we're going to be sleeping on this boat. We're sleeping on our boat. torch oh that's right we got to put the barrel on it let's go grab it yes imagine how heavy this thing would be okay now we gotta find powder Okay, nope. Other side, maybe. Got some more flint. Ah. Why'd that just turn red? Oh. Oh, yeah, gunpowder. Cannon wall. Got more wood chips. And a burning torch. Which we should have. Yeah. This looks like a really bad idea. I feel like that cannon probably should have flung back that way. And that's a pretty weak cannonball if it only went through one wall. So it is fairly thick. 
more wood chips. Ooh. We can sleep in that bed. What is that? Oh! <gasps> we got a set of tools. A rare set of precision tools for crafting iron weapons can be found on sunken ships. <gasps> that is awesome. Captain's key. I guess we can just keep the torch going, huh? That way you guys can see better. Oh, <gasps> that's right. That sucked. Captain of Santa Maria and his mate are killed. It looks like the killer took them by surprise. But who? Who could have done such a thing? And most importantly, why? On the table, there is the Santa Maria's logbook, stained with blood. Apparently, the killer looked into it. I must examine it at once. I just had the craziest thought. What if the killer is Ponce de Leon? He's gone crazy wanting the Fountain of Youth. The Santa Maria was shipwrecked on the rocks. Thank the heavens, part of the crew survived the shipwreck as agreed with the leader of the expedition. We are sending signals daily by firing the only intact cannon. First mate told me that most of our supplies have been ruined by seawater. That sucks. They had to send someone to go get fresh food and water. That's what happened. With those other two guys. In the end, the cannon could not withstand such frequent firing and broke. Furthermore, it cannot be repaired until the cannoneer returns from the scouting mission. Our leader, Captain Ponce de Leon, arrived at our location today. He found us by following our cannon signals right before the cannon broke down. More good news, the same cannon signals were heard today from the big island not far from here. And that means the San Cristobal survived the storm and is anchored somewhere there. Bad news, still nothing heard from the cannoneer and the cook who left to scout the islands. Juan Ponce de Leon is true to himself. He's seemingly unlimited. His seemingly unlimited energy has greatly inspired us, springing us into action. After a short discussion, we have come to decision the captain will take all survivors to the big island on lifeboats. A couple of my men will stay here for a few days and wait for the cannoneer and the cook to return. We see another lifeboat on the horizon heading our way. It could be either our scouts or another survivor. Nope, I'm sorry, dude. And unfortunately, I didn't get here in time. What is this? <gasps> we found something. Does that mean we can use them? I'm selling my diabolical invention as with its help. I have seen that my death has been foretold in the stars. Rio Valero provides information about distance to the items under markers and increases marker visibility radius and concentration mode by 50%. Aw. I wonder if we should just go sleep under the stars. At least we have water. Ooh, here we go. Dragon fruit. Well, that was a good find. I don't know if I can carry that. Oh, I can. and put that out. Okay, let's do this. Let's just get back up. We'll sleep inside the ship. That should get rid of the wind chill. Maybe even help us dry off a little bit. Maybe. Old barrel. Can't do anything with that. Shouldn't smell too bad in here since these guys are completely decayed. Screw it. Let's sleep. Okay. 
We do got to get rid of that runny nose. I we'll have to build a fire. And I'm like 100% positive that uh, this little island we're going to is like damn near impossible to build a fire. Ladies and gentlemen, I do think I'm going to end things here. In the next episode, we will pick up on the new island. We'll actually pick up right here. Guys, gals, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and your support. Remember, if you haven't already, please smash that like button if you like this kind of content. Consider leaving a small comment and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.